Hello, everyone. So in this question, uh, we're trying to calculate the equivalent uh, Thevenin model for this circuit. This uh, circuit already is in a phase, uh, phasor domain, so we don't have to do any uh, transformation. And we're, the model that we're going to develop is going to also be in the phasor domain. Uh, now, uh, the Thevenin model in the phasor domain looks like this. There's a source in series with an impedance. So this is called the uh, Thevenin impedance, and this is called the Thevenin voltage. They're both complex numbers. Now, the process uh, through which we can uh, develop that model is the same as what we developed for both we, what we did for the time domain. If you leave the, the, this circuit open, then the voltage, the open circuit voltage would have been V Tevnin. So the same thing is true here. And that's what we're going to do first. And then to calculate the Z Tevnin, you can do two things. If there is an independent source of voltage, you can short circuit here and then calculate the current. And the current would be V Tevnin divided by Z Tevnin. Therefore, Z Tevnin is V Tevnin divided by that I short circuit which is the case here. Uh, the other general way is to turn this off and look in back into the circuit and look for the equivalent impedance. Okay, so let's start. We're going to identify the nodes, leave the circuit open. That's our ground. This is that voltage basically, minus 40 plus 40J. And by the way, this is, this is how Vx is defined here. So this is V x. Um, we call that v1, and this would be our v tevnin, and there is current i1 here, current i1 here, and this current is actually zero, there's <coughs> no current going there, so that would have been i1, and I don't have to write a KCL anymore. With that, we're going to move on to writing equations for components. Um, there are four components in the circuit that's already taken care of so there are three equations for components to be written uh, i1 for the resistor is equal to minus 40 uh, plus 40 j minus v1 divided by 10 i1 for this uh, component the equation is i1 is equal to v1 divided by minus <coughs> 10 j finally the equation for that component is v tevnin minus V1 is equal to 5 times Vx. Now we have to define what Vx is uh, in order to for this set of equations to be complete. This is actually not an equation for a component. This is just a definition. So I'm going to be accurate and not put it under equations for components. So Vx is that voltage minus this voltage. And that plus minus, that's what it means. Uh, minus 40 plus 40J minus V1 is our Vx. In other words, I1 was Vx divided by 10. With that, we can start doing the math. So I can equate these two uh, together. Minus 40 plus, that's plus 40J. Let me correct this. Minus 40 plus 40J minus V1 divided by 10 is equal to V1 divided by minus 10J. Two tens go away. I can multiply both sides by a J. So that would be minus 40J minus 40 minus V1J is equal equal to <coughs> minus V1. So therefore V1, I move V1 to left, would be 1 minus J is equal to 40 plus 40 J, which means V1 is actually equal to 40 plus 40 J divided by 1 minus J. Then I multiply by both top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator, so that would be 40 plus 40j 
times 1 plus j divided by 1 minus j times 1 plus j. Uh, this is 2, uh, that's 20 plus 20j, so that would be 20 times 1 plus j times 1 plus j. And this is 1 plus 2j minus 1 that this is 2j, is this whole thing is 2j, so this is 40j. Great, so now we have <coughs> v1, and off of that I can calculate anything else that I'm looking for. Um, <clears throat> for example, vx becomes simply minus 40 by putting this here, and v tefnan from this equation is v1, which is minus, which is uh, 40j, plus 5 times uh, vx, which is minus 40, so that would be 40j minus 200. So now I have v tab. Okay, now I'm going to move on to calculating uh, uh, the I short circuit. So I make a short circuit here, and as soon as I do that, uh, now this is no longer zero. This is I short circuit, but this voltage right here becomes zero because these two are connected to each other. So this becomes zero, and as a result, um, this voltage right here, I can basically manipulate the same equations. Um, in other words, I can set V Tefnan equal to zero and solve the same set of equations, but I'm not going to confuse you and actually redo the circuit. Okay, so this is also a short circuit. So we are going to now have a KCL and KCL, now this is I2, this is no longer I1. Uh, I1 is equal to I2 plus I short circuit. Equations for components. Um, <clears throat> again, I1 is equal to minus 40 plus 40J uh, minus V1 divided by 10. This component I2 is equal to V1 minus 0 divided by minus 10J. And then for this component, the equation is uh, 0 minus V1 is equal to 5Vx. And then finally, uh, by definition, Vx is minus 40 plus 40j minus v1. So, um, we can actually quickly from these two um, calculate v1. We replace vx here by minus In other words, from this one, we know V1 is minus 40 plus 40J minus Vx. And uh, from this one, V1 is minus 5Vx. So I equate the two. So minus 40 plus 40J minus Vx is equal to minus 5Vx, which means uh, minus 4Vx uh, is equal to minus 40 plus 40J, and therefore Vx is simply 10 minus 10J. Once I have 
the x, I can calculate i1 and i2 and v1 and everything else. So from this, first of all, v1 is equal to minus 50 plus 50j. From that, I can calculate i2. That would be minus 50 plus 50j divided by minus 10j. This would be <clears throat> 5 minus 5j divided by j, which is equal to multiply well, top and bottom by j, that would be minus 5j. plus 5 minus 5. So that's I2. <clears throat> and finally, I1 would have been Vx divided by 10. That's 1 minus j. So I short circuit is simply I1, which is 1 minus j minus I2, which is minus 5j, minus 5, that would be 5j, 4j, 5 plus 6. Now we have our short circuit. We calculated uh, v uh, in uh, earlier. So z Tavnen is basically V Tavnen divided by uh, I short circuit. Now, V Tavnen that we calculated was uh, minus, uh, it was uh, minus 200 plus 40J divided by I short circuit, which is 6 plus 4J. And this is our z tablet, you put it there. You can actually simplify it if you want to. And uh, that's v tablet right here. So this is v tablet. Uh, that concludes our calculations. And we have our model. Thank you for your attention.